This is a how-to video on how to run a project in layout mode in DriveWorks Solo. Layout mode is a feature that allows multiple solo projects to be specified and automatically inserts each model generated into an active assembly. To activate the layout mode icon, a DriveWorks assembly must be open in the graphics window of SolidWorks into which each model will be inserted. Once an assembly is open, select a project from the local and recent folder to begin specifying. Once the model is complete, DriveWorks Solo will insert it into the active assembly. The specification will be placed into a running folder. This can be returned to prior to finishing all specifications to make any changes. This will in turn update the model inserted into the assembly. Further specifications can be started by clicking the required project from the local and recent folder. Again, each specification will be shown in the running folder. I will demonstrate how this works now by running through a few projects within an assembly of a room using the layout mode. Make sure SolidWorks is open, and then open up DriveWorks Solo by going to Tools and clicking on DriveWorks Solo. As mentioned, an assembly needs to be open within SolidWorks for the layout mode to be active, so I have opened up the room assembly that I created earlier. Double click onto the cupboard project from within the local and recent folder to start a new cupboard project. Fill in the mandatory form controls that allow you to progress to the next form, where you can specify the size and door style of the cupboard. Then specify the material and handle type, and click on OK to add the cupboard to the current SolidWorks room assembly. You can reposition this where you would like it to be in the active room assembly, by clicking on it and dragging it around. You can see that within the DriveWorks Solo Capture Explorer, your cupboard project has been added to the running folder as it is now a running project, until you click on to finish all and generate models. You have the option to cancel all, or finish all. Now I want to add another model to the assembly, so I will click on the fan project from the local and recent folder in the DriveWorks Solo Capture Explorer to add another model to your room assembly, in this instance, a fan. This will open up a new specification within the DriveWorks Solo Capture Explorer and allow you to fill in the form controls and progress to the final OK button, which should be pressed to add your newly designed fan into the current assembly. Within the list of local and recent projects, we can click on one to make any changes to the chosen project. I will click on the cupboard project and run another cupboard project through, so I will have a couple of different cupboards within the same SolidWorks window. Again, I will fill in the mandatory form controls, which allow me to progress to the following forms to specify how I would like the cupboard to be generated. Here I will alter the height, width, depth and door style, as well as changing the material to make the next cupboard different. Click on OK to generate the new cupboard and insert it within your Open SolidWorks assembly. Once this cupboard has been added to the assembly, you have the ability to reposition all of the models to your desired location by clicking on them and moving them around, or even using the SolidWorks Mate function. Your new generated cupboard has also been added to the running folder, along with the first one that you specified. You are still able to double click on these, which will take you back into the specification and allow you to change the details of the selected assembly. I will double click onto the first cupboard that I specified, and change the material and handles along with the size. Click on OK again, which will update the model within the workspace in front of you. Go into your other assembly, and change some of the options, and click on OK to see it change within the open SolidWorks assembly. Now go into the second cupboard that you generated, and again, change some of the options on the form, and click on OK. Once you are happy with your selections, click onto the Finish All button, and then choose if you want models, drawings and documents generated. Click on Finish to start your final generation of your DriveWorks Solo project that you have been running within Layout Mode. DriveWorks Solo will now begin to generate all of the models, generate all of your drawings including repositioning and scaling them so that they fit, and create all of your documents according to what rules have been created. You will then be able to view the generated models within the results folder of each DriveWorks Solo project, along with the drawings and documents if you selected them to be generated. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo, or visit the online help file, which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.